The search for the source of Sri Lanka's horror leads to this town, Katankuri. It's where Zaran Hashim lived, a radical Muslim cleric thought to be the mastermind of the attacks, which the Islamic State group have now claimed. In his town, it's difficult to get people to talk about him. Uh, you don't know where he lived in this area. Nervous that their community is under the shadow of terror. We're told he hasn't been seen here in more than two years. We finally find his sister's house. Afraid of reprisals, she doesn't want her face to be shown. But she agreed to speak to us. Later, walking through a run-down neighborhood, we're taken to his childhood home. This is the house is now locked at the moment. That, uh, We've been told his parents uh, left town a few days before the attack. Zaran Hashim grew up here. I'm told this is his ancestral home. Although more recently he lived in a rented house in the town. People in this neighborhood are in shock that someone who lived amidst them is suspected to be behind such brutal bombings that killed hundreds. And they shy away from talking about him. Earlier in the day, we saw the mosque he'd founded. Today it's empty, but he's believed to have had hundreds of fanatical followers. Though there were also many Muslims who accused him of radicalizing youngsters. Muhammad Zubair heads the council of local mosques. That someone from our area has been linked to attacks is really worrying for us. We are shocked and upset by it. Our community doesn't support hardliners. We believe in harmony and unity. As a mark of respect for the victims, the town closed down. There's sorrow here, like the rest of the country, but also real fear of a backlash. Yovita Lamai, BBC News, Katankuri.